Hi, uh, good morning everyone. So in this video, what I'm going to tell, what are the latest changes in SAP certification? You would have heard from uh, different sources. So let's check it uh, today. What are those changes? And uh, mainly I will share that link in the description so that you can also check it because uh, it's significant changes were happened. So this is the link, uh, I'll keep it in the description and also in the comment. And let's put the, uh, yeah. So if you see the description, uh, learning.sap.com certification transformation. So if you see that from April, 2024, the certification validity, the, most of the certifications according to the statement we can understand, most of the certifications uh, will be expired within one year. So SAP will get, send a respective notification to you that your certification is going to expire so that you need to do certain assessment. Okay, And we have to go through that one, whether that assessment will be again 80 more questions or else uh, any sort kind of a questions or how much amount need to be paid and all you can see in detail. So once you finish that assessment, then again 12 months the certification will be the validity will be extended. So mainly I believe that um, because of the S4 HANA cloud and continuous artificial intelligence related and this B2P, what are the innovations are keep coming so that the people have to learn whatever new things are coming up to date, they have to learn so that they can serve their clients in an efficient way. So that's what uh, I, I suspect that that is one of the main reasons for making this one. So if you see that uh, statement, what is changing? SAP has changed its certification program to ensure you have what you need and when you need it in the modern workplace. Continuous learning and keeping your skills always up to date is the priority. The new SAP certification program makes it easier and faster for you to gain and maintain the latest skills and valid credentials on the key SAP technologies and solutions for your job. So what is this new? So you can see the details. Um, this is effective from introduced in April 2024. If you have an SAP certification, you need to keep your skills up to date and your certification valid as products evolved by completing mandatory assessments before the certification expires. So if you have a SAP Learning Hub subscription, it's an expensive one. We all know that one. If your company has, you can get it. You can prepare for and take the stay certified assessments at any time during the validity period for your certification. You can take the assessments. The initial certification validity end date is March 31st, 2025. The standard validity for your certification is 12 months. Every time you successfully complete an assessment, the validity period is extended by 12 months. You will receive personalized communication by email to ensure that you don't miss your certification expiry date. So you will get the notifications. Your certification is going to expire on March 31st, 2025. Can you take the assessment to extend for 12 more months? That notifications will come. How to get ready to stay certified? So you can see that when go to my learning personal dashboard, you can follow all these steps, the FAQs also. I don't have to read all each and every uh, FAQ. In this link, you can go to the details and what do you need to get and uh, stay certified. So this is about the learning hub, how you have to enroll. So regarding the change, if you see here, the certification transformation brochure, uh, you can download this brochure. What are the uh, main changes that happen? And uh, see here the statement. SAP certifications have given me an edge in the competitive consulting landscape. Embracing new knowledge makes my mind more agile and adept at facing unforeseen changes. This is one of the things. And now we are going to the uh, main point here. I will share this also. What are the valid uh, certifications which are available? So let us extend it. So if you search 
procurement can see this is a public cloud c s4 c pr okay so procurement uh, s4 hana so this is the one valid uh, valid uh, certification you can see and uh, CTS-452, this is our uh, available TS-452, right? Certified Associate, which we are already, uh, I made a video on that topic also, like uh, the completely freshers, college out or domain employees who wanted to change their career, uh, mostly this uh, 452 for procurement, 462 for sales, okay? So 422 for uh, production planning. So these things can be completed. So SAP certified the field class. Okay, this is for Ariba procurement. That is field class procurement. And yeah, TS450, already we know that one. Um, so you can see the statement, retirement uh, status already retired. Recommendation for uh, recertification. You can see here, if someone who has done TS450, it is retired then they have to do C TS 452. So here already retired, what is this already retired? We can read in the star, okay. So, so let us read about what is this statement of already retired. Retiring certifications without recommended alternative. So for few certifications, uh, SAP has stopped and there will not be any more see here. So this document will be helpful to all of you. What is your certification, whether it is retired or not? If it is retired, is there any new recommendation? See, for example, see here. Supply chain planning, oil and gas, and SAP SRM. Uh, SRM is not going to be uh, available in the future. So it is retired. There is no more recommendation to upskill. So Ariba buyer integrator, Ariba application integration, these all certifications no more available. And there is no recommendation also to update it. So HCM also, span management, HCM, SRM, all these are coming un under that category, even customer experience, span management, human capital management. Now you can see here, for example, if you have a certification procurement with uh, ERP, EHP5, the old one, then you can do, so see TS452. So TS-452 is becoming uh, the major uh, certification to replace all these things like procurement or if you have a certification in 450. So all these things it will be having because the 450 and uh, ERP-6, CHP-5, these are having more ECC flavor so that the TS-452 has given as a, uh, the further one which you need to do it. If someone has done certification in EWM SCM 7.0, so it is already retired. So it is that certification is no more valid. You have to do CS4 EWM. So if you have done certification earlier in EWM 9.0 or um, uh, you have done in WM, okay. So all are with uh, you have to do S4 EWM. See, someone has done TS TSCM. 66, the SAP WM certification, then you have to go for CS4 EWM. So I can see that one CS4 EWM is the uh, one thing valid to all of uh, EWM related people. And for all S4 HANA procurement and even SAP S4 HANA sourcing and procurement without uh, inventory management, TS451. Uh, TS451, TS450. So all these are going to be uh, you should do TS-452. So earlier, uh, we used to see that one 452 for freshers, 450 for the ECC uh, experience or um, normal, uh, if you have a, some SAP experience. 
But now TS-452 will be the uh, certification which will make you to extend your, uh, like it to be available as a replacement for all these uh, certifications which are already retired. So this is a great thing to know that one so that you don't have to do this uh, TS-450 and all anymore. TS-452, you have to do recommendation for certification, recertification, you can say. So if you are coming for the first time to the career, again, you directly can do that one C TS-452. And if you have earlier certification, you wanted to recertify it, then you can do this TS-452. So that is for the procurement and for other, all other modules you can go through. And you can see here that those are all for the uh, recertification if your certification is retired. And whatever you can see in the initial pages, all are new certification, you can do it. For example, CTS 452. So yeah, you are a new, yeah, till now we have not done any kind of certification and uh, you wanted to, to build your career in s hana procurement, then you need to do CTS 452. So these are the certifications in ERP, Enterprise Resource Planning. So the available certifications, these are the available certifications. So this uh, link also, I will keep it in the description. So you can go through peacefully, you, uh, whatever module you're working, you can just use this control F and uh, you can uh, search as EWM or you can search as um, sales. Okay, whatever area you wanted to verify. I hope uh, this video will be helpful to all of you to get a clarity and you can go through which certification you need to do and uh, what is the benefit and how to manage your certification in the future. So regarding notifications and all, you will get the required information. Thanks to all of you for watching and uh, please share with your friends so that they don't do any uh, wrongly certification are there. Mainly it will give a clarity for them which certification they need to do and how to prepare. Thank you.